yeah, it felt, felt good. Obviously, it's been a while uh, since I've been on the score sheet, so, uh, you know, obviously feels really good, but I'm um, just happy with the way we answered after, you know, pretty, uh, pretty subpar game the other night. Um, I thought we played a good game tonight, so obviously. Um, they're a good team and they stayed in it, but um, I just like the way we continue to work until we found a way to get the points. Yeah. You guys got off to a really good start in the first period. Did the power play sort of sap the energy from you there? Because they came, they think they came back to the final eight minutes or so in that period. Kind well, of I think they had some shots. I don't think, I thought, I, I still thought we played a good period all the way through. Um, you know, I don't watch the video, I watch the game, so you'd have to probably ask Torts about that. Um, but. I know they're a good team. They got some good offensive people, a couple good lines. Um, well, four good lines. Every 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 line's good in this league. But you know those top two are, are really good, and yeah. and uh, you know they're going to make some pushes and have some make some plays. So uh, I thought we we did a pretty good job tonight. You get a front row seat to him every night. Why is Seth Jones so good in the overtime? Well, I mean. Uh, a lot of reasons. I mean, I, he starts with his starts with his, his legs. I mean, obviously the way he he can get uh, up and down the ice, uh, you know, is is key. And then obviously after that, he's got a lot of hockey sense and smarts. He's got some offensive ability. Um, you know, he's got every tool in the shed. So um, he's a huge player for us in that overtime period because of how well he can play when we have it and how well he can play when when yeah. we need to try and get it back. I mean, he's just uh, he's a beast back there.